Hello, Chris Heilman here with a quick weird thing about media queries. Now, media queries are a great idea. They are there to only apply a certain style when the, a certain condition is met in the browser, like if it's wide enough, if it's in the right orientation, or if it's the right depth of resolution. So the styling totally works, but the problem that I found is that the loading of the resources accordingly to these media queries is always happening rather than only when it makes sense. So this test page here has different font sizes according to what the resolution of the browser is or actually what the window size is right now. So if you look at that in the source code, I have link elements here and I put the media attribute in there automatically. Uh, uh, just directly when, instead of using it as an at media in the CSS. So this means right now that if the screen is a minimum width of 600 pixels, then load the small.css file. If it's a minimum width of 4000 pixels, which is not going to be very likely, load the big.css file. Now, the styles get applied, I can actually see that already. But if I now open the browser and I actually open my dev tools and I load this, you see that it actually loads the big.css file, but it doesn't apply it. But this is wasteful. We shouldn't load anything that we don't need because it's an HTTP request. It actually is a latency problem. It parses the CSS and it never actually needs to apply it. So maybe it doesn't parse it. I'm not quite sure. But the loading is the issue that I have here. Now, the workaround that I found for now, which would be a good thing to do, is to use JavaScript instead. Because you might not know that, but JavaScript also has a interface for media queries, which is called Match Media. So I can do a window dot Match Media, and uh, put the put the uh, media query that I have in here as a string. So I can say, is it actually right now 600 pixels? And I get a media query list object back. And that one has an add listener, so I can actually use events on that. I can have a, I have a matches, and that is true or false. And it tells me what the media was that was tested. So that's pretty sweet because I can do all kind of cool things with that. So if I now had, for example, a media query that will not be right, like 60,000 pixels, you might have guessed that now the matches will be false. So what can we do with that? I thought the good idea for that is instead of applying an href directly to the link element, we could actually just put a data href in there. And then we test the media query that is in there and only change the data href back to an href when and if the condition is met. And I put this in a small JavaScript called mediaQueryLoad.js. So this is actually all that does. It looks for all the elements in the page that has a media query dependent class and it then loops over them. It tests if the currently uh, if it has a data set of media. So if I look at the source uh, the source of the index page here that I test uh, put as a test page up, we have a um, data media and we have a data href. So it looks if there is a current data set media and then it actually does the window match media of that media query that is defined in that element. And if it matches, then it actually goes through all the attributes that are that are prefixed with a data attribute and changes them to normal attributes. So in this case, it would go through that one and find, okay, this first one here is a data set, uh, is a link, link element with a media query dependent. Okay, it has a data media screen and min with 600 pixels and it has a data href. So it will test the screen and min with 600 pixels and change that data href to a normal href when that is the case. That's what the JavaScript does. And I also defined a, call, a fallback here. If JavaScript is not available, it would always just load the standard.css. And you can apply this to more than just link elements because uh, not all elements allow for a media attribute. I think it's mostly links and also uh, source attributes of videos, which you don't want to load all of them as well. But with this JavaScript solution here, you can actually use a image data source as well. So I can have an image that can o will only be applied if that media query is actually correct right now. So in this case, I show this kitten picture only when the page is actually more than 600 pixels wide. And you can try that out if I actually open this page instead and I load this right now, you can see it loads the kitten. But if I take the browser smaller and I reload, 
it will actually apply the other styles. So this could be done with normal media queries as well, but uh, don't forget right now that none of these things are being loaded. So if I load this page right now, then it loads the index HTML and the standard.css. But if the page is more than 600 pixels and I reload it, then it loads the other, the other resources as well. So instead of loading resources without using them, I only load them on demand. And this is what this little script is about. I think there might be some good ideas in there and we can use that for some interesting like responsive images or all kind of stuff. So have a look.